Members of Congress, I have the high privilege and the distinct honor of presenting to you the President of the United States. That's the first. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Vice President, members of Congress, my fellow Americans. Tonight marks the eighth year that I've come here to report on the State of the Union. And for this final one, I'm going to try to make it a little shorter. I know some of you are antsy to get back to Iowa. I've been there. I'll be shaking hands afterwards if you want some tips. Now, I understand that because it's an election season, expectations for what we will achieve this year are low. In the meantime, I build this incredible empire. It's got a tremendous net worth, very little debt. All, and then I hear some pundit or some person say, he doesn't deserve to be on the stage with a senator. The senator is nothing. And I'm not saying, or senators are nothing. I'm saying certain people are zeros. Well, I believe in God. I am Christian. Uh, I believe very strongly in God. I think that, um, the Bible certainly is one of, if not, I mean, it is the book, it is the thing. I, other people say he said in the book, and I haven't seen it, I know it's in the book, uh, that he's got a pathological temper or temperament. That's a big problem, because you don't cure that. That's like, you know, I could say, they'd say you don't cure, uh, as an example, child molester. You don't cure. I will be the greatest jobs president that God ever created. I tell you that. He might even be on one of my courses. I would invite him. I actually would say, I have the best courses in the world, so I'd say, you know what, if he wants to see, I have one right next to the White House, right on the Potomac. If he'd like to play, that's fine. In fact, I'd love him to leave early and play. That would be a very good thing. He's no Reagan, that I can tell you. I mean, my hair is better than his hair, that I can tell you. There's no way I would ever do anything to do negative to a Bible. So what we do? Bomb the shit out of them. It's true. I don't care. I don't care. I love the Mexican people. Many Mexican people work for me. Many Mexico people I do business with. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. I've employed over the years many thousands of Mexicans. Right. I love the Mexican people. They're fantastic. According to Pew Research, among others, there is a great hatred of the Muslim population. The people that are here, by the way, people here, 25, not 1%. By the way, 1% would be unacceptable. 1% is unacceptable. 25% of those polled agreed that violence against the Muslim population here in the United States is justified. As part, think of that, as part of the global jihad. Now, when it comes to trade, the leaders of Mexico are far smarter than the United States leaders. Our people don't know what they're doing. Our leaders don't know what they're doing. In Mexico, I'm talking about from all over the world, and I say that. They're coming from all over. Many bad people are coming in. You're going to have terrorists coming through the southern border. There's no question about it. We have no security from the United States standpoint. You have guards, you have border guards standing there, and people are walking. And I talk to you this way. I talk to you this way because that's the mentality, whether I'm nice or not. I think I'm nice, actually. 